Well, the family of a man who was killed by Winter Park police is sharing their side of the story. Police say Daniel Knight was shot during an altercation with officers at the Winter Park Event Center Saturday night. But Knight's family says that's not what happened. News 6's Treasure Roberts has that story all new at 11. The family says what was supposed to be a joyous night ended in a way they never imagined. Daniel Knight's family is saying that the Winter Park Police Department's claims are unfounded and his death is unjustified. They're working to get the FBI and the Department of Justice to take over this case. Up until that very moment that police showed up, we were having a good time. Hearts torn to pieces after a celebration of love ended with shots fired and a family member dead. He didn't deserve to be killed that way. I don't understand. He was such a loving man. Saturday, police rushed to the Winter Park Events Center after someone called 911. He's trying to beat people up. He's yelling. The caller claims Daniel Knight was harassing guests at his niece Janisha Paul's wedding reception. He's grabbing people's necks and like it's an older woman. I think it's his mom. Winter Park police say when officers arrived on scene, they tried to separate Knight from another guest when Knight punched an officer. A police report says Knight went after a second officer. That officer deployed a taser but wasn't able to stop him. Investigators say Knight knocked that officer to the ground, prompting the officer to pull out his gun and shoot him. Boom, 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 boom. Knight died that night at the hospital. A lot of these statements that were made by the Winter Park Police Department does not add up. The family says this is video of Knight dancing at the wedding reception not long before he was shot. Dancing, having a good time. And I didn't know that being a black man dancing and a reception justifies murder. Knight's niece traumatized. He was killed in front of me. His blood was all over my wedding dress. And Knight's mother shocked the 911 caller reported he grabbed her neck, saying her son only hugged her and helped her sit down. He didn't do nothing to me. I don't have any bruises. I don't have any scratches. The family is demanding that the officers be charged and arrested. We did request the body camera video from the Winter Park Police Department. They say they're not releasing it at this time because it's a part of a FDLE investigation. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.